Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Jungle Strike, the sequel to Desert Strike. And this game is kind of banged up, but still plays because the Sega Genesis keeps on Truxton. Yes, if the game has a kick-ass helicopter, it's off to a good start. Welcome to the review of Jungle Strike, which was released in 1993 on the Sega Genesis. This is the second game in the Strike series. The first one being the Amazing Desert Strike, which came out a year earlier. And wowed those of us playing Sega Genesis back in the day. These were ambitious games at the time. I like how her mouth moves, but not the rest of her face. It's great. The Strike games helped to usher the video game industry into the era of 3D open world games. Just a few years earlier, this would have looked a lot like Choplifter. And what's amazing is that it runs smoothly. Also, I have to compliment this guy on kicking his clean white sneakers up on the table. That's a real display of attitude right there. That's like saying, hey, I know what my targets are. I'm just choosing to ignore them and I'll blow up this station wagon instead. You really couldn't do stuff like this in video games back in 1993. Jungle Strike was ahead of its time. And it was a lot of fun, but I must have been way better at video games back when I was 17 because I remember cruising right through this, but now it's, it's really tough. You've really got to memorize every level, and thankfully there is a password save and continue system to keep you going. Jungle Strike is no joke. If you play this game without just lifting all the codes from the internet, it puts up a massive challenge. It's also a lot of fun. But it certainly seems unfair at times. The enemies will just take you out from off screen. Jungle Strike is laid out pretty well. There's nine missions total, each with numerous objectives. Hitting start on your Genesis controller will pull up the map and objective screen, which is really helpful. That'll also show you where to pick up some fuel and ammo. That's right, not only can you explode and die, but you can crash and burn, which also results in death. Thankfully, you have some extra lives, and yes, there are codes on the internet to give you even more. Because trust me, the more lives, the merrier. Jungle Strike isn't going to take it easy on you. Therefore, you shouldn't take it easy on them. You can machine gun enemies, launch missiles. You can even use harsh language. It works great. I came up with this neat little trick to blow up some of the harder enemies, like tanks where you fly in towards them using harsh language all the way, machine gunning and launching missiles, then back away before they hit you, and then fly back in and do it again. Sometimes it works. Sometimes you just explode in a ball of fire, but it's all fun because you're playing games on the Genesis, and what's not to love about that? There's some nice built-in stress relief in Jungle Strike, though. After getting your ass kicked enough times, sometimes you just need to blow up something that's not gonna shoot back. I'm sure those were covered by insurance. Don't worry about it. Jungle Strike's really tricky. Like Desert Strike, you, you need to memorize the level beforehand in order to know what you're attacking because by the time you figure it out, if they don't destroy you first, you'll run out of fuel anyway. Now, one of the best features in this game is, of course, multiple vehicles. There's the supersonic hovercraft. I'm just assuming it's supersonic. Like, why would you build a hovercraft that isn't? And of course, the F-117 stealth fighter just hanging out in the middle of the jungle that flies around in circles and runs into things. It's super fun. Uh. 
Sorry about your ancient rock structure, my bad. I'm used to flying a helicopter, not a jet. And I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to my man Mohammed from Qatar for sending this to the show. A while ago, it's taken me a long time to play it. I like the Strike series of games. There's a whole bunch of them. Desert Strike, Jungle Strike, Nuclear Strike, Soviet Strike, and uh, Surgical Strike. Which isn't really part of the series, but it's a fun game anyway. Jungle Strike. Thank you for watching. Follow Classic Game Room on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. If you liked this review, then you definitely need to watch my reviews of Desert Strike on the Sega Genesis and Surgical Strike on Sega CD, because it's an awesome review. Welcome to the club. It's the Lord Carnage Club, where I give thanks to these backers on Patreon, starting with Jeff, Jeff Captain Dauntless Breyer, Ohad Kane, Jack Stavris from Australia, Philip Michael Stiles of Ortona, Philip Strabenmuller of Vienna, Austria, Landon Ellerby, Justin Duran from Palm Desert, California, Steve Chucknick from New Jersey, Sean Zoltek, Rick DeBarros. Hemp Tracks, Al Stiver, Chip Sankbell, Shadow Minion, for Lord Carnage, Busy Signal, Jason from Kamloops, British Columbia, Will, Zach Brenner, Sergio Matthias Hergers, Jim Moriarty, Rob from Palmerston North. New Zealand, Kishore Ken, Soft Otaku. See you next time on Classic Game Room, Mark 3.